Hi folks, welcome to My Smart Price. Here is our review for the BlackBerry Z10 which was launched about two weeks back. And uh, as you can see, this is the BlackBerry Z10 from the firm Research in Motion Limited which is based in Canada. So as you can see, this is the BlackBerry Z10 and uh, this is the flagship smartphone for BlackBerry as you can see. And here is the box. And it's quite a sleek box, looks good. comes with the usual headphones, USB cable and charger. This is the USB cable and this is the battery. This is the stereo headphones. And this is the charger. And this is based on the brand new BlackBerry OS uh, 10, and, uh, which is the latest OS and the BlackBerry is betting that this, this would bring them back into the market. So let's have a look into the device now. So yeah, the device is a 4.2 inch screen and it's a 720 HD screen. So the resolution comes to 1280 by 768 and it's a 355 PPI display resolution. And, uh, on the back side they have uh, this glass weave pattern, it's basically a soft plastic pattern and it's quite soft to touch and it feels good and we have the 8 megapixel sensor over here and a single LED flash. On the side we have the micro USB 2.0 port and the HDMI port, micro HDMI and we have the volume rocker along with a button in the between and this is the play or pause button, music button. So we have a LED flashlight over here for the notifications and this is the unlock and power button and here is the 3.5 mm audio jack and uh, this is the primary mic for the cell phone and this is the secondary mic and we have the speaker over here and the loudspeaker over here and it, it is a good position so that the sound uh, won't be stopped by anything and yeah here we have the two, 2 megapixel front facing camera and the proximity and light sensor over here in the middle and this is the LED notification light and uh, it is good to note this is a 9mm thick phone so it is a pretty slim phone and uh, on the inside we have a 1.5 GHz great processor it's a dual core processor and along with a uh, Adreno 225 GPU and the chipset is Qualcomm Snapdragon MSM8960 series and it has a 2 GB of RAM and uh, the internal memory is 16 GB and it does have a micro SD card slot and let's have a look on the inside of this phone so you can open this cover from here again it's a flexible plastic bag so it's quite flexible and it's, it has a soft feel it wouldn't feel like breaking and uh, it does have NFC so probably this is the contact points for NFC and this is the battery, it's a 1800 mAh battery and here is a slot for the micro sim and this is for the memory card, the micro SD card and this is the 8 megapixel camera and the LED flash yeah, The BlackBerry Z10 has connectivity options of uh, 3G that is uh, HSTP and it also has an inbuilt 4G LTE chip and uh, it's, uh, it supports Wi-Fi BGM networks and it has Bluetooth 4.0 which is supposedly the latest version in Bluetooth and it also has NFC near field communication and uh, GPS and HDMI connectivity. Okay, coming to the OS, uh, let's have a look at the BlackBerry OS 10 which is the latest uh, feature in this phone. So here we have the lock screen and it shows the time, the date and uh, we don't have a SIM card so there is no network inside and uh, you have the owner information over here and the calendar events over here and you would be notified about your emails or messages on this screen or over here so let's have a look at it you, you can go to the camera from the lock screen you just need to press this icon over here and the small little animation and then it takes you to the camera and uh, there you have it so let's look at it. let's have a look at it later so let's do the close so basically you need to unlock this by just a swipe and here you have the home screen with all the icons so basically this is the only menu that you have to access your applications you do not have to go anywhere else like uh, in Android you need to go to the home button and then it takes you to the menu so you have all the icons over here and 
these are kind of a big icons you can say compared to other operating systems like iOS or Android. And here we have the notification bar on the leftmost. You have all the mail accounts configured on this phone. You have the hub over here, which uh, consolidates all your accounts into one page. That is the BlackBerry hub. And you can see all your messages over here. And these are the individual mailboxes. Okay, going back to this, and uh, you also have the notifications over here. You don't get the notifications at the top bar. You just get these settings like uh, the Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth, and alarm. Let's have a look at the camera now. So, and basically, one more feature this phone has is you you do not need to press any button to unlock the phone. You can just swipe it like this, and there you go. It's unlocked. So, okay, let's have a look at the camera. So this is a 8 megapixel camera, it's pretty good quality, the color saturation is good and the reproduction is well. And you just need to hit the screen and it takes a photo. Yeah, there you go. Let's have another one. So the camera quality is good overall and you also have a front camera that is a 2 megapixel shooter. And Let's look at the other features now. We have an integrated contacts uh, file you can say. So it integrates all your contacts from LinkedIn, your email, your telephone and it shows you all in one place. So that is convenient you can say. Let's have a look at the browser. So Blackberry have the proprietary browser over here and it seems like it's pretty fast. So we have tried pretty much of operation over here. So you do have pinch to zoom in the browser and render is pretty fast. And it's a pretty good Blackberry keyboard you can say. So this is the mobile version of the word. So let's look at the full site. It's gonna take some time to load because it's quite a graphic heavy website. So here we go. It's still loading. It's taking a lot of time to render all these things. So not a problem. Let's have a look at the text over here. Scroll is pretty fast. There is a bit of lag I can say but still pretty good. And we do need to keep in mind this only has a two uh, dual core processor. It does not have a quad core processor like uh, unlike other smartphones. The flagship smartphones are for Android and uh, iOS you can say. So basically the operating system is optimized to utilize all the cores efficiently and save power just by a dual code. And pinch to zoom is smooth I would say. As you can see. And the display is quite clear so let's have a look at a YouTube video for this. So there is a dedicated, uh, it looks like an app for YouTube but once you open it, it takes you to the browser so let's have a look. This is just the browser, so it's not a dedicated app for BlackBerry yet. Let's have a look at the video. The screen is pretty good, it's a loud large speaker I'm so sorry, 
as you can see, it's uh, still not in full screen mode, but still it's, uh, trying to make the best of the aspect ratio of the video. I think it's a 16 is to 9 video. So. Yeah, I think it's a problem with the aspect ratio. I think the video is 16 is to 9, so... Yeah, there is a bit of heating up going on with the phone, means once you use it for a lot of time, it starts to heat up at the back. So, okay, let's have a look at some other applications. And here we have the Blackberry app market, that is the Blackberry world. So, you can buy applications, games over here, and we have seen the collection, and so far we do think that it lacks quality applications. and. Uh, most of them, most of the applications are emulated Android applications, so they have been recompiled and then adjusted to uh, run on BlackBerry operating system. So the quality is not that great, and uh, and they are pricey too. It means you do not get a lot of free apps. Most of them are uh, charged apps. That is, you need to buy them. So there we go. Let's have a look at some other applications. These four applications come built in, that is Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Foursquare and uh, I must say they do have a quite good quality. They have been developed natively for BlackBerry OS. And coming to Maps, uh, Maps is one big negative for this phone because uh, BlackBerry have their proprietary Maps on this device and basically for India it does not support well. We do not have much Map database over here so it gets quite difficult using Maps. You, you can download a third party app probably if someone comes up to support BlackBerry OS then you can and there we have YouTube app which is the same as the browser and here we have the file manager and one good thing about the file manager is it integrates your Dropbox account into this folder so there you go you have all your files over here connected to the cloud through Dropbox and then yeah, we have a box application which is inbuilt and there is the camera. And we do have Angry Birds support which is the most common game right now. So it has been developed for the BlackBerry operating system. So not to worry, all those gamers can have quite some fun over here. We also have a BlackBerry Remember app with this phone. So let's check it out. Once you open this app, it directly takes you to the Evernote logon page. So uh, it looks like an app, but basically it's just the Evernote application for BlackBerry. So you need to log into your Evernote and then uh, it gives you all your notes over there. So Yeah, and we do have a pretty good clock with this phone. So this is a normal clock you can see. And we have a bedside mode. You can choose this over here and it turns to black and red. And also when you're charging the phone, it gives you the same clock. It looks pretty good. Yeah, coming to multitasking, uh, it's quite a different concept. And as you can see, you have the screen over here, which is the multitasking screen. You can close apps from here or choose apps from here. So this is a browser. And if you need to choose any other option, if you need to multitask, you just need to go this way. And then you go to the home screen. So this is a dedicated window for all your applications. You can just close them over here or open them over here. And yeah, and one more thing, you can just go to the app. Any application settings just by scrolling down, you get the settings option over here. And this is a unique way you can say. Yeah. And let's check out email. We do have pinch to zoom option in the email section, as you can see over here. Here is an email, so to a certain extent you can pinch to zoom, just like this. So you do not need to scroll across the whole email, okay, it's quite convenient. Okay, let's have a look at the music player that comes with this phone. So here we go. It is a pretty good music player we can say means the album arts load pretty fast. We have seen a lot of phones have a lag when it comes to loading these images but this phone absolutely does not have any lag whatsoever. 
just scrolls smooth and fast and also the audio quality is pretty good uh, with the inbuilt uh, headphones that come with the phone also the audio quality is pretty good with this phone so this loudspeaker is clear and loud and it also plays good in the headphones so this is the music player let's close this and also we have the camera and let's see a special feature with this camera so here we have a special mode in which you can record uh, in which you can click a picture and then set it to what to how you want it to be let's, let's have a look at the example see I'm moving my hand over here and then taking a picture like this just take a picture so I do have the option of selecting what is the best picture for me so I can choose just scroll it over here and then whatever I like you can choose it over here and then just press click and that's the photo that is selected so that's a separate mode completely and here we have the photo mode this is normal image mode this is the video mode and one thing to note is that uh, when we are recording a video we are not able to click pictures unlike other smartphones uh, like Android or iOS smartphones you can shoot a video and simultaneously you can click a picture as well but this phone does not support okay, so overall we would say that the blackberry z10 is a good device and going by the looks of it the it's a very well designed phone it's a slim phone and the design strikes immediately as soon as you see the phone and it's lightweight also and uh, coming to the screen, the screen is a very good screen, it's a LCD screen and the black levels have, are comparable to the AMOLED screens as we can see and color reproduction is also very good and also the speaker, the loudspeaker is good on the phone, call quality is also good and uh, camera is of very good quality but it's missing uh, some key features like uh, simultaneous video and photo recording and yeah, coming to the operating system it is quite slick but then it takes time uh, to get used to it because it has some unique uh, swipe actions like the multitasking and the closing apps applications and the notifications bar so it would take quite a lot of getting used to it and uh, yeah and a lot of applications are missing so basically the ecosystem is uh, still new you can say the blackberry os and ecosystem and uh, it requires quality apps to be developed so then we can have uh, a lot of applications for our personal and work usage and battery life is good it has uh, a pretty good battery life it serves uh, more than a day yeah. one key feature that blackberry has included is uh, it manages a separate account for your work and for your personal usage so basically you can integrate all your accounts and data into one phone and divide it into separate profiles so your company data will be managed by your IT department and they will not be able to access any of your personal data so that is uh, that was missing in the previous BlackBerry devices and coming to the price it's uh, priced around 43,000 in the Indian market which we believe is uh, overpriced and uh, and uh, ideal price range would be 30 to 35,000 for this device so that would make it sensible and easier for the market to buy so overall it's a good phone but we would wait for it to for the price to come down so that uh, consumers can have a go at it because basically it's the first device uh, having the blackberry os 10 so any user would be reluctant to spend about 40000 plus on such a device so blackberry should get their game right and then i think they will be able to make a pretty good comeback and that's about it thanks a lot for watching this have a nice day bye bye